Hello, it's Dr. Pat with Little Critters, and we have a darling little guinea pig with us today. She's a two-year-old and presented for a lump on her head. And as you can see, she's got swelling all along this area and an open wound here. This was all an abscess that was full of pretty thick caseous debris. And we did anesthetize her. We cultured this, opened it up, and drained it. And we're leaving this open so it can heal from the inside out, because if we were to close this right away, it would just re-abscess. More significantly, you'll notice that she has a head tilt. So when we look at her straight on, this left eye is slightly down or tilted. The owner had also noticed that she has occasional balance problems and trouble moving. She can walk, but if you look at her back legs, she splays her back legs out. She feels like she's at sea. She's trying to get her balance back. And she can move these normally. She's just having trouble figuring out where she should put her legs in her head. And this is actually a very common sign of otitis interna media in guinea pigs. The inner ear is in the skull. It's a bony labyrinth and it's normally air filled. And so when we take an x-ray, we can actually see the inner ear quite readily on an x-ray and see the air filled pockets in it. And when they get an inner ear infection, that air goes away and these labyrinths fill with pus. And what we noticed on her x-rays, and we'll put a screenshot up, is not only have we lost some of the air in the inner ears, but her middle ear is fully calcified, in indicating chronic infection, chronic inflammation. And so very probable we've had this going on for a while, and that's causing some balance problems as well. So we're treating her for both of those conditions. The prognosis for her is pretty good. Some of these animals will require surgery. It's called a bola osteotomy. It's done in dogs as well. And that's when you go in and you actually open up this bony labyrinth to drain the pus. Many of them will start by treating them medically. We do culture other wounds if they're there to try to identify them. It is a little subjective because the wound on her head is probably not directly related to her ears, but we have a clear problem here that we're gonna, going to address. And we do put them on antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. We do supportive care. Many of them do actually resolve and become perfectly functional again. Some of them will maintain a little bit of a head tilt. That's actually pretty common. That's a persistent finding. And the big issue is if you're treating otitis, otitis interna, we may not actually ever be getting rid of it altogether. We may be treating the symptoms and treating the signs and suppressing it a bit, but it can pop up again. Because again, if there's pus in the inner ear, the only way to really get rid of it is to drain that. So these guys do require regular ongoing care and close observation by their owners, but these little potatoes are well worth it. Do you have a potato at home? If so, tell us your experience. Have you ever had one with balance loss or a head tilt? It's a very common finding. Always look at your guinea pig straight on and the eyes should be perfectly level, not tilted with one down.